So what are investors thinking and talking about as we get into the political season? Let's get investors' playbook and uh, all that will be coming through from uh, Bola Haina, who is the head of investment at Cordros Capital, is joining us via Skype from downtown Ikoyi this morning. Bola Haina, it's good to see you. We understand it's a very busy time for you folks. Uh, so let's go straight to what's in the playbook right now. We have so much news, then we have a lot of noise, then we have politics, then we have earnings. So the question to you is, what are investors talking about? Good morning, Boston. Um, great to be here this morning. Um, in the month of August, people are thought we we're going to have an August vicious turn in the market, so people thought we might have a rebound. But of course, it was not the case. So we saw the market also decline as well, lost about five percent in the month of August. And really, investors have been trading carefully in the market. So similar sentiments still plays in the equity market. But in other markets, so we saw renewed interest in the fixed income space and also in treasury bills. So in prior months, we've seen the loss by foreign popular investors in the fixed income space and also in um, um, basically bonds and, um, and money market instruments. But in the month of August, we saw renewed interest because we're seeing yields rise to as high as 15% in the bond space. So while they are trading carefully in the equity markets, we are seeing renewed interest in the bond space. Or recently as well, we see renewed interest in some of the banking stocks as well because a lot of them are trading way below their intrinsic value. So those that have um, good valuation, quality names, you said to see renewed interest from FPIs and also from PFAs in recent, in recent weeks. So when you folks in the investment space and advisory speak to investors, local investors, folks with deep pockets, those who do wealth finance and wealth fund, what are their concerns about the political space? So similar concern with a lot of the FPIs as well. So really, um, because of the political climate, a lot of people want to stay on the fence. And for them now, equity for some of them is like a no-no. Those that are strong on equity, they are trying to whip down their average. So they are buying lower, but some of the stocks are already holding. And some of them are even exiting, open to re-enter when the political noise um, goes down. So a lot of them are a bit mute when it comes to equity market at, uh, at the moment. And we are seeing a lot of them play big in the fixed month space. Also commercial papers. So because of the low interest rates, we've seen a lot of corporates come now to issue commercial paper at premium to what risk free is. So ordinarily, they're going to borrow. They'll be borrowing at double digits, some in the, in the range of 20%. But now, because risk free is um, trading at about 12%, they are seeing commercial paper in the region of 14%, 15%. And we've seen a lot of investors playing in that space, both portfolio managers, PFAs, and also HNIs. So that's our I network individuals. Yes. So beyond politics, which, of course, we know comes this heavy, every four months, for, sorry, every four years, so we know that. So is there any news on the street that excites investors right now that they see as a positive signaling? I think one big news is the oil prices getting close to $80 per barrel. You know, for Nigeria, oil usually from the sentiment on how investors are praising Nigeria's risk. So oil is trading towards $80 per barrel. Um, in recent time, we've seen oil reserve or our external reserve deep. Um, but with oil trading towards $80 per barrel, of course, that is a bit of confidence. And also, production has been very, very stable in the country. So, stable production, LD oil price, that's, a, that's positive sentiment that I believe some investors can trade with. Okay, so uh, what's, that, what's the short, medium to long term uh, sentiments when you talk about uh, equities or mutual funds? Uh, you folks have, have one or two of, of yours on the street. It's a very difficult marketing these funds at this time. Are folks looking to sell down for reasons beyond the political risk uh, in the environment? So, um, very good question. So, for mutual fund, really, um, we've seen a lot of renewed interest in the mutual fund space. So, from January to date, over 200 billion has been added to the mutual fund industry. And basically, those investors have gone into money market mutual funds. So, we are seeing a lot of investors playing actively in the money market mutual fund space. And pretty much that compares favorably with their 91 year treasury bill rates. And of course, it's offering a premium to that. Um, so, mutual fund is one investor's toast. I also mentioned that there are different kind of mutual funds. So while we have money market mutual funds, we also have some that are equity based, some that are real estate based, some that are balanced portfolio, some that are ETS. 
But while the other ones have not grown, interest has basically just been in the money market space for obvious reason. One, there's liquidity. Um, one, there's safety of capital because they are basically investing in investment grade instruments. So for most investors, really, money market mutual fund has been one way to go. And those that still play in the equity market, one, they are looking at quality names and they are trying to do a bit of bargain hunting and value investing. So like I said, we've seen renewed interest in some of the banking counters um, because of the price that dipped in recent uh, months. And so if, if investors, local investors are interested in uh, mutual funds or what to call the match funds, broadly speaking, wh where was the appetite coming from? Are they looking at certain regulatory uh, sector issues, for example, the new multi-fund structure uh, by Pencom or the, see, the new reclassification and recapitalization uh, program of NICOM, which is current, which is ongoing? Oh, thank, um, thank you. Um, so for mutual fund, you know, I mentioned that we have different kind of mutual funds. So I really seen interest in equity-based mutual fund. So um, the capitalization issue with NICOM or with the insurance company might not come into play um, at the moment. Um, yes, the multi fund structure has kicked up, but of course, we've seen so much interest at the moment. So for mutual fund, it's just basically the money market mutual fund space. It's very simple, just because there is um, simplicity and of course, um, there's safety of capital more or less. I just just investing in commercial papers, treasury bills, and fixed deposits. So people are still avoiding equity. So if there was interest in equity, we'd have seen a bit of interest in equity based mutual funds. But really, that hasn't been the case. Even ethical funds have grown. It's just money market mutual funds that we've seen the over 200 billion um, that we've seen in, 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 in mutual fund space basically lack because of the money market mutual fund. So basically, there's still investors risk aversion to equity and um, obviously because um, the yields, like I said, compares favorably to what you get in the 91 day treasury bill rates. And I think the other attraction for mutual funds is because it's as low as 10,000 or 5,000 naira, everybody can participate in mutual fund. As opposed to if you want to buy a treasury bill, you need 50 million to participate in the primary market, of course, or you need much more than that. But a lot of investors cannot afford that. But mutual fund gives you um, that affordability, simplicity, I still get the same yield or better yield than you get in the treasury bill. Um. But uh, the final question, uh, you folks who do meetings with investors and take focus calls and everything, what are you telling them? You've told us what, what are weighing on investors' minds, but what are you telling them? Is it difficult to sell the market as, uh, at the moment because perhaps the conversation is always around the political uh, firmament? Yeah, so, um, so we have various kind of investors, so there are some that are savvy. So for those ones, it's easier to understand the market. So the market has rewarded it over time. So of course, I know that also a lot of what is happening now is noise and we expect to see a rebound. So for those ones, it's easier. Those ones have a long-term view. But for those that are like new entrants in the market, want to educate and leave their investment instruments, save in, in investments, more or less, and re-enter the equity market later on. So it's a mix of sentiments. So what we tell them, first of all, is that one, invest in quality name, that is a long-term view, you can invest in the equity market. It's a short-term view, equity is a no-no for you. So um, pretty much have a long-term view in the equity market, invest in quality names, invest in stocks that are going to pay dividend. So of course, why you might not have um, capital appreciation, you can get dividend income in your investment. And of course, try to balance your portfolio. So don't have all your investment just in one sector, have it across sectors. So have some interest in consumables, have some interest in banking, some yeah. interest in building and construction. So okay. ultimately, those sectors are not heavily correlated to each other. Okay. And that's more or less that will spare your risk. Okay. Thank you so much, Bola Haino, Head of Investment at Cotros Capital. Thank you very much.